What's going on YouTube? Heads or tails here. Now uh, we are definitely behind on our $15 a week challenge. Uh, as a matter of fact, we are six weeks behind. But we're going to take care of that right here. Now um, I've kept up with the challenge and stuff that I've gotten. I just haven't been able to put out videos. I uh, had a lot going on this way and trying to get back into the swing of things. So I'm going to get caught up here and keep back up with it. Want to do a special shout out to uh, Sea Monkey Metals for uh, keeping this challenge going. And um, of course, Cheshire Keith, glad he's doing better, glad he's back at it as well. You know, he's the one that started the challenge with me here on this. Now, um, we will list everybody else out in the uh, description below that's doing this challenge with us. And I know there's uh, several other people that are uh, thinking about getting in on it. So let's uh, get into it and see what we got. additional shout outs uh first one is going to be for the madman himself now uh for anybody that hasn't had any idea yet he uh, restarted his channel as the maddest stacker he went through he already did a 250 goal that was just absolutely crazy and if you haven't seen that yet you definitely need to go check that out that video now the other uh that i would like to shout out here is savage stacker he is uh, right there, just a little bit away from his 1K mark, and uh, let's get him up there. The man kind of had to fall off for a little bit because he was out, uh, well, fighting wildfires. So uh, I think that kind of took a little bit more precedence over doing YouTube. So a uh, huge thank you for doing that, and uh, let's see if we can't get him up there too. Now, getting into it here, like I said, I am six weeks behind on this, and um, I've been keeping up with stuff coming in just haven't been keeping up with the videos unfortunately you know just juggling time now um, I normally try to give a lot of information on these coins and this video I'm going to slack on that just a little bit so we can try to get everything in and keep everybody's attention span on that as well now um, I finally got some constitution for the box finally got some constitutional silver for the box it's not just foreign in there other stuff now folks now, um, the very first thing I got that was originally for week eight is going to be a walker from 1942. Now, I am going to go ahead and do the totals here off to the side as well. Now, this one here I actually picked up for $13 at the time. So, it was kind of a mid midpoint, not, not ridiculous, but not cheap either on that end. Thankfully, I did make up for it on some of these other deals, but uh, that's very cool. So that's going to be our first piece of constitutional in there. Then um, actually, the next week after that would be this bit right here, which is going to be a mixture of three pence and six pence. Now, um, the cool thing about that is one of these here is a 1920. This one right here, as a matter of fact, while I throw everything everywhere, if we can get it to focus. It is a 1920. And that one, I have looked it up, and it's actually going to be 925 silver. So this one right here is actually sterling. So that would be a cool little fact on that one as well. Now, um, to go along with that there, we had uh, some more. I found these lot deals to where I got a pretty good deal on them. Now that lot was uh, 
that lot there was exactly $13 as well. Now this next lot was just a little bit more. Once again, three pence and six pence. All of them were silver. That lot was uh, $13 and 35 cents. Now um, this set here came, <laughs> came a very long way to get here. This one right here actually came from uh, Puerto Rico. Is where the packaging came from and stuff. And this one here ended up costing me ten dollars. Now I'm gonna get a little more into these coins as well after I bust them out of here and you know check them out and everything. We're gonna get them in there. Then we got another piece of constitutional. We got a Benji. 1963 Benji, actually. And this one I managed to pick up at an amazing price, in my opinion. Especially considering it was very recent. I got this one here for 11 bucks. Now, I know that you can probably find them cheaper, but at the same time... Uh, Silver is not getting too easy to find, as everybody knows. Now, the best deal out of all these that I've managed to get... What good is a pirate chest without some mutiny metals poured silver? Now, I already had one in there, but I managed to pick up two more. And I actually, because I picked up these two from somebody, was able to get this one at half price of what I paid. So, both of these together were exactly $15 for our challenge. So, and both of these are just quarter ounce little pours. Now, even if I didn't get it at $5 on the one, if you think about it, poured silver at 40 an ounce, that's that's about the going rate, truthfully, on a, on a good day. So, that's not too bad. And 10 apiece, you're going to come up with that. you got to think about the stamping and the coloring and all that as well. So, we are going to add all of this into our treasure chest. And uh, for anybody that is kind of just starting to catch up with us, we have quite a bit in here. We've got the entire Zombucks Copper Rounds. Along with a uh, silver shield round in there as well. And if anybody hasn't went ahead and started following Silver Shield, you need to do it. Um, his channel that he does is going to be um, The Greatest Truth Never Told. So go check that out. And another person that I would definitely say everyone needs to check out is uh, Junius Maltby. Him and his wife, if you haven't heard of them yet, they're the ones that are doing the, uh, the silver raids every so often. Kind of putting that together, trying to help everybody find out some really good deals. And uh, of course, speaking of good deals, we, uh, we know who else to holler at. But... Uh, I'm going to cut it there, folks. I am glad to be back into the swing of things and just getting this going. So we are up to week 13 right now. I think Keith came out with a video earlier today saying week 14. I'm going to have to check my calendar as far as I counted. We should only be week 13, but I'm probably wrong on that. So I will uh, double check on all that as well. And if I'm wrong, we'll just go ahead and catch it up again. Do an extra week on the next one. But I do want to do a special shout out as well to Cheshire Keith for doing this with us. Sea Monkey Metals. We have Golden Spike Stackers. We got Slacker Stacker and Bourbon Stacker both doing their own individual ones. We have uh, AU Family. Miyoshi Bullion has come in on us with us. We've got uh, Wasatch Wizard is also doing this with us. We've got uh, Dissident Aggressor. And I am willing to bet there is someone I'm missing there from saying those names. I know there is somebody I'm missing, and I do apologize. 
I, I try to get everybody and link them all in the playlist that I'll have uh, listed below as well. But um, thank you, everybody. And as always, from my family to yours, have you a great day.